welcome to another GCSE revision video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the AQA GCSE past paper. This is the November 2017 first paper in the foundation tier of the 8300 series. It's a non calculator paper. And we're picking up in question 22, which reads the ratio of x to y is 7 to 4. So x plus y is equal to 88. Work out the value of x minus y. Okay, well I can think of an easy way and a hard way of doing this off the top of my head. I think I'll, I'll walk you through the hard way first because that then shows just how cool the easy way is. So let's do it the hard way. The ratio of x to y is equal to 7 to 4 means that x is 7 times bigger than 4 times y. So um, that means that if I multiply x by 4, that's going to be equal in size to 7 times y. In other words, um, 4x minus 7y is going to end up with 0. I'm going to call that equation 1. And we already know that x plus y is 88. Um, but if I multiply everything through by 4, I can eliminate the x. So um, 4x plus 4y is equal to 88 times 4. Oh, gosh. All right, so that's 88 multiplied by 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32. 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's 352. And that's equation 2. And so if I subtract equation 1 and equation 2, 4x minus 4x is 0. And negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. Uh, 0 minus 352 is negative 352. Should have done the equations the other way around. So multiplying everything by negative 1. So 11x is equal to, sorry, 11y let me rub that out eleven y is equal to three hundred and fifty two. So y is equal to 352 divided by 11. Oh, gosh. All right, let's just check that that is right. Um, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, yeah, it is a multiple of 11. So it's going to come out to a whole number. Um, right, so let's just do this as long division. 352 divided by 11. Remember, this is the hard way. Uh, 11 divided by... Okay, so 35 divided by 11 is 3. 3 times 11 is 33. Leaves 2. Bring down the 2. Uh, so that's 2. 2 times 11 is 22. So the answer is 32. So y is equal to 32. Therefore, x is equal to 88 minus 32 because x plus y is equal to 88. And therefore, x is equal to uh, 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 3 is 5, so that's 56. So now I've got my values for x and y. x minus y, which is what we're actually asked for in the question, is equal to 56 minus 32, which is equal to uh, 
6 minus 2 is 4. Uh, 5 minus 3 is 2. So that's 24. So x minus y is 24. And that's your three marks. The hard way. Well earned three marks. Uh, just give you a quick easy way to do this though. Let's just delete this. Okay, so here's the easy way to do it. Uh, if the ratio of x to y is 7 to 4, then x plus y is equal to a scalar multiple, let's say, m of 7 plus 4. In other words, x plus y is equal to 11 times a scalar multiple. In other words, 11 must be a factor of x plus y. And in fact, x plus y is 88. So we can say that if x plus y is 88, and x plus y must be 11 times a, a common multiple, um, then that multiple must be 8. So, because 8 times 11 is 88. So m is equal to 8. Now, without evaluating x and y, what we can say is, x minus y must be equal to a common multiple, the same common multiple, into 7 minus 4. But we know that m is equal to 8. So x minus y is equal to 8 times 7 minus 4 is 3. So x minus y is equal to 8 times 3, and 8 times 3 is 24. So x minus y is equal to 24, without even having known the values for x and y. And if you did want to know the values for x and y, you would just say um, 7 times 8 is uh, 56, and 4 times 8 is uh, 32. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.